If you watched my last video, I showed you how the new industrial crafting update for Rust will bring automated and remote storage systems, and how to make an item retrieval station using the new pipes and conveyors. But then this got me thinking, where could I put the loot vault that would make it extra OP? Now here's the thing, you can build underwater, but you can't place deployables like storage boxes or conveyor components. But you can place doors and vending machines in doorways. So I got to building the same item storage system from my last video, just underwater. This underwater model, I'd be using the vending machines as the storage boxes, and so I had storage adapters attached to each vending machine. Like most underwater bases, I can't put a TC underwater, so this does need to be attached to a base above the surface of the water. And it also needs to be within 30 meters so that the electrical and piping components can reach. A deposit box runs through a splitter and then each line runs through a powered conveyor before going into the vending machine. Then the storage outputs all combine together and connect to our retrieval conveyor. That's it. When it's all done, it could be upgraded, honeycombed, and sealed in, potentially making this the least rateable storage bunker in all of Rust. Let me know in the comments how this can be improved or what you think might be stronger, and I'd love to test it out for you. All right, so that's it. Thanks again. Keep in mind, I stream every day on Twitch. And if you don't know who Gary is, you should probably find out. And please remember, if you don't click that button below, it's basically just my mother subscribing to the channel. Um, so there is that.